I, I want to start adding a, a palate cleanser towards the end of the show. Something that is, um, you know, that kind of puts you in a good mood or laughable at the tail end. So we'll start doing that. I want to pull up this today. And uh, this was from Australia, which I just absolutely love everything about this. And this is spectacular. At least I feel it is. Blabs, have you seen this video? I put it in the put it in there. Did you get a chance to see it? No, I didn't Excellent. see this. But I'm curious. Okay, so look. We've all been through a bad breakup at some point, right? There's always that time where you, you break up with somebody, maybe you get ghosted, maybe you had some sort of fallout along the way. Uh, you know, obviously I've been married for 15 years, so it's been a long time, right? But we at, at some point you feel spiteful about, about something. And this dude may have uh, set up possibly the best way to get back at, uh, at this woman. As once again, this is from Australia. Says, uh, what's the most petty thing you've done in a breakup? Let's just check this out real quick. McCann's mother has been forced to block dozens of calls after her ex-partner allegedly took her phone number and plastered it on polls here around the CBD, telling people to call up and impersonate Chewbacca for a chance to win $100. <laughs> 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 so, uh, pretty, pretty brilliant. Pretty brilliant. That's uh, like a that's a light, harmless joke. Honestly, I thought it would be like a lot worse. Like, oh no, what has he done with the phone number? Like, posted up for prostitution or something? Who knows? <laughs> right, right. She has examples here, which is great. This would be the most childish breakup I've ever had. Like. All he had to do was be mature and go, I don't love you anymore. I want to move on. The calls have been waking her and her three young children up at odd uh. hours in the evening, and they're yet to stop. I'm <laughs> 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 <been> pretty genius. <laughs> That's great. I, yeah. I feel Not bad for, her, for the young but... kids, though. That sucks, but that's hilarious. Oh my god. I think Here she we... should just change her phone number. That'd probably be easier. Right. Listen to this guy, the second guy's here. Yet to stop. <laughs> I want my hundred bucks. <laughs> I want my hundred bucks. <laughs> oh mate, give me a hundred bucks, mate. Oh man. Yeah, mock over on uh over on Rumbles, right? Says is it childish? Sure. Is it funny? Absolutely. Right. hundred yeah. percent. I'm getting phone calls at really strange hours of the night, about one o'clock <laughs> till four o'clock. Forced to call back the wannabe Wookiees and tear down the posters. Anyway, so there you go. Um, genius or evil? Both. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, both. Because yeah. that that really sucks for her. I'm not gonna lie, that'd be awful. <laughs> I mean, pretty pretty genius. Yes, it does suck, but at the same time, if you're a if you're a guy who's really mad. Like, we don't know why they broke up, right? Maybe she was horrible. Maybe she was horrible. And maybe she cheated on him, right? Maybe he cheated on her. You don't know why. You don't know why these things happen. But uh, it is, listen, people making Chewbacca noises, not a whole lot negative can can come from that. I'm just saying. And I also like the idea that they're demanding $100 for, for their Chewbacca noises, which is, which is great. 